Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Zwilight Zone. So we're playing Pokemon Radical Red today. Pokemon ROM hack. Oh, Fire Red, obviously. The gist of it, really hard. You can catch almost every Pokemon. The They made a few like fan-made changes. Like for instance, Electivire is now fighting an electric type as opposed to just electric. A lot of Pokemon have like new moves, etc, etc. I haven't played this game, but I've seen certain things about it. Really excited to get into it. Ah, good old Oak. You know, I've been watching the anime uh, recently, and I honestly can't stand it. What is it? it is, is it Samson Oak? I absolutely despise that character. Him and his stupid Pokemon transformations, they, they really get on my nerves, like for real. Okay, so we always got to go with the girl, you know what I mean? Red's cool and all, but Leaf's just freaking fantastic. We're gonna name her Iris. But no, we're gonna name him. We're gonna name him Unsub. I know that's not how you spell it, but this is as far as I can go, okay? So yeah, don't be this guy. <laughs> Please stop mashing A and probably answer the incoming question. That's hilarious. Yeah, they know exactly what you're, what uh, kind of players are gonna be playing this. Animal grinding mode guarantees all Pokemon have perfect IVs and EVs cannot be obtained. Oh, I like that. You know what? We're turning that on. I never said that I was going to be playing it to have like the, I don't know, I guess the most gruesome experience ever. Okay, so would it be a good time to admit that I never played Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green? Yeah, I know, I know, I'm a play up, I'm a play up, but listen, I got into Pokemon during 4th gen, okay? So we got the usual starters, you know, we got Bulbasaur, uh, Squirtle, and Charmander. So. I'm not picking Charmander. Literally everybody is going to pick Charmander. In fact, I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to keep the starters around, period. I feel like starters, as in like the Kanto starters, they get used way too often. So I'm probably just going to use Squirtle up until I find like a better water type. And then just ditch him, honestly. And I'm going to be real, if I find a Greninja, or a, a Froakie I should say, I'm going to use him. I don't care if he's a starter. You know what? This turtle seems like a Titan. We're gonna name him Titan. Don't ask why, we're just gonna name him Titan. Yeah, I've heard this music basically everywhere except for in this sound font. It, it's, it kind of slaps, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh! That berry animation! Okay, that was kind of sick. I like that. We don't have Pokeballs, do we? Gosh darn it. No, we don't have any Pokeballs. Okay, Viridian City. Dude, I'm digging this music! Like, I'm really digging the, the GBA music. It takes me back. Oh, you can change a Pokemon's nature? That's sick. Okay, that's actually sick. I mean, I, know, I, I knew that they had, like, a lot of, like, quality of life changes. But that's definitely a really good one. Holy crap. Oh, just ran into a Hoot Hoot. Uh, okay, that's that's pretty boring. I mean, you run into Hoot Hoot all the time in Johto, so. So we got the Pokeballs, and now we can actually catch some Pokemon. So I'm going to run around the grass in, uh, for a little bit. See what we can run into. Yo! Okay, Starly. Starly's pretty cool. So is this just like a collection of all the Route like one and two Pokemon and like just this uh, game's Route one? That's kind of... I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, you know, put them all in one little area. Oh, Sentret. Okay, so I actually have a really bad relationship with this thing. I remember back in Diamond and Pearl, I used to... I used to use the... What was it called? the Poke Radar, and this thing would always destroy my chains, like literally every single time. It, it would be eccentric. Like, if I'm chaining a uh, Larvitar, um, it was always eccentric to break the chain, and it made me so incredibly furious. Hey, look, it's Beedoo! It's Beedoo! And you know what? As I'm, like, during the month that I'm recording this, for some reason, like, Beedoo is just the talk of the town, you know what I'm saying? And I'm fine with that. Bidoof's a cool mod. B Barrel, on the other hand, is kind of garbage. I don't really like it. But Bidoof, top tier Pokemon. Arceus will be proud. I'm sorry, my lord, I had to kill you. Don't worry, your experience won't go in vain. Uh, an Alolan Rattata? Okay, that's kind of cool. Alolan Rattata is significantly better than regular Rattata, I will say. I'm still not a fan of Raticate either way. In fact, if you ask me, Raticate is just a bad Pokemon in general. It can't be saved. Route 22, hold up. Am I gonna die? This is quite... Hold on. Dude! 
Ooh, skidoo, or skido, however you say it. This thing's pretty tanky. Oh, it's using growth. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now it's just, now it's just trying to intimidate me, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work, skido. So I'm going to hit you with another tackle. You're going to die, and now you're dead. Nuh-uh! Is he about to challenge me? Okay, no way. Oh, no! <laughs> I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready! Oh my god, and he's level 9. Oh my god, I, I think I'm gonna die. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm gonna die. You yeah, see, no. That just t goes to show you how ruthless Pokemon was back in the day. Like, they just let the rival pop up on you randomly. Like, I was not... I was genuinely not expecting that. <laughs> like I said, I never played Fire Red. Oh, it has wing attack? Oh, shoot. Okay, we killed Starly. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Yep, Magical Leaf. I'm dead. Yep, rip. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yo, Pancham! Okay. Like, for now, I think I'm going to use this guy. Yeah, no, Pancham's cool. Yeah, Pancham's really cool. I like that sprite, too. Look at him. He's so smug. Look at this cute little boy. Yeah, we're, we're gonna catch him. Come on, Pancham. Be my friend. Please? Let's go. Pancham joins the party. We're gonna name him Brody. What? Ponita? And why is she floating? Okay, that sprite's not working correctly. Holy crap. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're gonna catch a Ponita. What was that? Okay, so on the little, the side borders that pop up at the beginning of the battle, it tells you what type the Pokemon is, like, by having the colors. See, look, it's, is she fire and fairy in this game? Yo, that's actually sick. No way, that is sick. Oh yeah, no, we're catching us a Ponita. We're catching us a Ponita. I don't care what anybody says, we're catching a Ponita. Let's freaking go. We're gonna name him Starfire. I get that the whole reason for it is the difficulty, but like just seeing a lot of these like newer Pokemon in like old school sprites is really cool. Sorry I almost didn't recognize you. I'm one of Oak's aides. I was just picking up some packages for the professor. I think he wanted to give you this, but didn't manage to get it on time. The death snap! There it is! There it is! There it is! Oh my god, there it is! Oh! Oh my god, it's Shinx! It's Shinx! It's freaking Shinx! It sinks! Okay. Or you, we could just kill it. That's fine, too. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Okay, well, you know what? It should be registered in the poke, in the Dex nav now. So I should be able to search for it, right? You have Intimidate. Awesome. Let's go. So, like, okay. You know how I said uh, that this game has, like, type changes and whatnot? As y'all saw earlier with the Ponita. Like, I didn't even know Ponita was fire and fairy in this game. Like, that's freaking awesome. I'm really hoping that Luxray is electric and dark. Like, I really hope so. And we're gonna name her Midnight, just because. Wow, it's Squavit, okay. Okay. Okay, this thing is like super adorable, like hands down. Like, I don't really like using it, but it's definitely cute. Though, real talk, I've seen some of the old school Oddish and like Gloom and Vileplume sprites. Those things are terrifying, like for real. Like, Vileplume just looks... Oh, it's another Shanks. Yeah, Vileplume just looks gnarly, and I, I don't like it. <laughs> like, I don't know who my final team is going to be, but I'll tell you Pokemon, uh, a couple Pokemon that I know I'm going to add to my team. Uh, definitely Greninja. Greninja's my favorite Pokemon ever, so I'm going to find one, and I'm going to get it. I'm going to I'm gonna put it on my team, and y'all ain't going to say nothing about it. And then, I definitely want Malamar on my team. Like, low-key, Malamar has, uh, has been becoming... Like a favorite Pokemon of mine. I think it's freaking cool. And it's like the one Pokemon that's like genuinely villainous. It ain't like, oh well, you know, um, the Pokemon only do what the trainers tell them to do. They're not actually evil. Nah, Malamar is just evil. He's he's just it's just a villain, like for real. I understand like why some people like EV training, cause you know you can quote unquote build your Pokemon like a different way than everybody else. But I don't know. It's just it's just not all that. Fun. I just want to battle people, you know, and then having to get the right nature, having to get max IVs, having to, you know, EV train them in certain stats. It just gets tedious if you have to do it too many times. So yeah, minimal grinding mode is definitely for me.
I can just focus on getting the right nature and leveling them up and learning the right moves, and that's honestly about it. Starfire is level 8. He's getting up there. Oh my god, he learned Flame Wheel. That is freaking amazing. Oh my god, this is great. This is great. This is great. Galarian Ponita would never learn Flame Wheel. This is freaking awesome. His Oddish. Bro, like, you, you really don't want to mess with Ponita right now. I mean, look at this. You see this? You see that right there? Yeah, uh-huh, now you're dead. Oh, and it was a crit. Oh, you're extra dead. Marie, don't care. You're dead. Marina, or Poochina, don't care. You're dead. Yo, Starfire, you're broken. Pan Sage, all right. See what I mean? There's a lot of Pokemon in just one patch of grass. Like, this is crazy. Uh, unfortunately, the monkeys suck. Well, I, okay, I take that back. They sucked in the original game. I don't know if they suck in Radical Red, but I don't care. Uh, Flame Will, you're dead. Bye bye. Ha! Got him. Look at it. Look at her strut. Look at that strut. She's trying. He's trying to learn Flame Charge, bro. Bro, chill out. You were getting walled by a freaking Burmy. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Okay. Brody has Iron Fist. This is godlike. Let's go. Okay, who else is here? Oh! Oh! It's Grubbin! It's freaking Grubbin. Oh, yeah, no, we're getting we're gonna uh, catch us a Grubbin. Like, that's just how it is. We're gonna catch us a Grubbin. Right here, right now. Shanks, use tackle attack! You wanna talk about Pokemon that got absolutely destroyed by Game Freak for no reason? Freaking Vikavolt, man. It should have been so fast, but no. It only has 43 speed in spite of being like really acrobatic and whatnot. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, at least Midnight learns Spark. Okay. That's fine. Bullet. Because that's how it should have been. It should have been like bullet speed. But no, it's 43 speed. We're going to name it Bullet. There should be a Joltik somewhere? Hold on. Joltik. That's, that's my boy. That's my boy. Where's Joltik at? Wait, what? Uh, Brandon, why? Okay, I remember Brandon was in this game, but why is he bat battling me right now? I was not prepared, are you kidding me? Okay, it's alright, never mind. He only has level, level 7 Pokemon. I was about to get really scared. But that Emerald music, though. Bro gave me an experience share. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, Snom. Okay, so one of my best friends, she's obsessed with Snom, she would love this, that you can catch Snom so early. But my bug of choice is freaking Galvantula, thank you very much. Snom's okay though. Frostmoth is pretty beautiful, but nah, it's all about that Galvantula. Oh look, it's Trash Burmy. I mean, all Burmies are trash, but this one is specifically called Trash Burmy. So, um, we're just gonna, gonna, we're just gonna get rid of it. I really don't want to look at its ugly face. Yeah, thank you, bye-bye. Uh, recently I saw an episode of the anime where it was a dupiter or a dupiter however you want to say it um trying to find a, a home and he was fighting like a surskit and whatnot oh my god the episode was so great i i, I think i like a, a, a dupiter a whole lot more now because he was like super adorable oh boo nothing went right yo i feel that i feel that on a spiritual level midnight is trying to learn baby doll eyes uh no okay so let it bug so, Lady Bull is, is still bug and flying, but Lady In becomes a uh, bug and fighting type this, this time around. Yes, sir, you ran out of Pokemon. What you gonna do about it? Give me all your money. Give me that 140 bucks. Are you a trainer? You are a trainer. Why weren't you looking? Like, you were just looking at a tree. What the heck? <laughs> I had to talk to him. That's like, he wasn't even trying to look for a battle. Oh, Brody wants to learn Karate Chop, let's go. Wow, there's a freaking Mega Stone over there. Are you kidding me? And I can't get to it. That's some BS. Ooh, Trapinch? You can get Flygon this early? Holy crap, all right. You know what really makes me mad? I didn't realize I was gonna get an EXP share. So I grinded quite a bit with some of my Pokemon. When I probably didn't even need to do half of that, because now they're just getting like a lot of experience every time I battle, no matter what. I don't know about you guys, but I love museums. Like, I don't go really often, but they're really cool. Wait, Faulkner? I forgot. Yeah, you can you can just fight Johto gym leaders here. Don't know if we're prepared for this, though. I'm probably going to die. <laughs> Look at him looking clean. Like, low-key, Faulkner's one of my favorite gym leaders. Oh, he's level 13. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, but that 
That Emerald music though, Gen 3 is awesome. Okay, we're gonna try switching to Midnight, get that Intimidate off. Let's see what we can do here. So here's one thing that if you guys haven't played Radical Red, or know anything about Radical Red, the AI is supposed to be like really good. Like on par with like actual players. So they're, it's still AI, so they're gonna be doing, whoa! They're gonna be doing some dumb stuff. Can I paralyze it? Let's go! Let's go, okay, don't have quick attack. Wait, what? Oh no. Okay, I'm not sure if this, can Rufflet even learn quick attack? Well, I guess not. Oh no! Wow, rip. <laughs> it's alright, Midnight, it's okay. Let's go! Bullet for the win! Okay, low key though, Emolga is like really cute in the anime. Not really a, a fan of it in the game, but in the anime it's so freaking good. I feel like Emolga is like really fast. Yep, we're dead. Yo, let's go, burn! Okay, this is kind of scary, not gonna lie. We're sending out Brody. She's probably gonna try to go for a flying move. Cause she's gonna use a flying move, like there is no way she's not gonna use a flying move. So we're gonna do bullet punch, get some extra hits in. They did like nothing. Holy crap! She has roost. Oh, never mind. We just lost. We just lost the game. Like hands down, we we just lost the game. Midnight was the play, and unfortunately, Midnight's dead. Close your eyes, Squirtle. Don't look. This is about to hurt really bad. Wow. Now she's just trolling me. She could have ended it, no problem. But no, she wants to heal. They really do play like like human players. Cause I've seen people like when they're obviously going to win, they'll just stall just because they can. And it's really annoying. And you know what? She got confused, so that'll be really great if she just kills herself, you know? <laughs> Come on, hit yourself. Come on, hit yourself. Of course, of course not. Yep, you're dead. Oh! Maybe not. Hold up. Squirrel for the win? Okay, like if we're gonna win this. Like, cause it, she still has, I mean, he still has one more Pokemon. So if we're gonna win this, we gotta use Rapid Spin and hope that Emolga hits, hits himself. Come on, hit yourself, please. Let's go! Rapid Spin! But, what if though? What if? Corvus Squire, uh, yeah. Pretty cool fight though, I enjoyed it. Uh, bye bye. Yo, Starfire wants to learn will o -Wisp. are you kidding me? Yo! It's a really good move. Esp Esper looks really creepy. Alright, our girl Midnight leveled up. Oh wait! Midnight evolves at level 15? I didn't realize this, that's freaking awesome! Yo! All right, we got Luxio. I freaking love the Shinx line. Some of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I know a lot of people will agree with me. I mean, Luxray, like specifically, is just a really good Pokemon. Galarian Meowth is in this grass. Uh, that's kind of cool. Ugh, who who greenlit this? I want to know who greenlit this Pokemon. Execute is such a dumb concept. Now, see, Fanpy Fanpy is a good Pokemon. Excuse me, Axew? Freaking Axew? Bro, we're gonna get us an Axew. Axew for the win. Haxorus is low-key the best dragon. Like, that's all I gotta say. I mean, there is no other answer. It's just Haxorus. Haxorus is the best dragon. We're gonna go with Tomahawk. Let's freaking go. Alright, Faulkner, we're gonna try beating you again. Try sending out the girl. Really? Oh, okay, I see how it is. She has freaking lightning rod? Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, this AI is actually dumb. What the heck? Oh, we're gonna leer. Yeah, I thought she was gonna do that. Yeah, we're gonna leer. And get her defenses down. Girl has freaking really. Okay, what is this AI doing? Like, for real, for real. I bet you do he doesn't switch out. Oh, he did. Okay. Very interesting.
Let's go for the double leer. Really? Okay, I see how it is. So the AI is kind of locked in, so to speak. Not like not gonna lie, electric and flying is a really annoying type to deal with in general, but especially like early on. Yeah, I think Faulkner is losing his cool. I've been sitting here spamming bite for like the longest. He switched out to Rufflet, only to switch back into Emolga, and the strategy. Wait, wait, did, did she finally run out of roost? Yeah, no. Um, I think I broke the AI, guys. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I think Midnight just straight up counters his entire team. Holy crap, man. <laughs> I actually broke the AI. Luxio for the win. <laughs> wow. I guess this is where it ends, boys. The win is finally with us. Nah, bro. You're about to be gone with the win. That's what. Why does this thing have rock smash? Are you kidding me? Of course the defense drops. Of course. And you're out of there. Bye bye. Well, dang, who knew? All I had to do was evolve Luxio, figure out the AI's patterns, and that was about it. <laughs> Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock Bro. Get out of here. You're just a youngster. Okay, this is a rock type gym. I'm fairly certain that Drillbur is not a rock type, but whatever you say, game. My rock hard real power is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit and determination. I, will you stop using the term rock hard? Like, come on. That's right. My Pokemon are all the rock type. <gasps> you don't say, Brock. <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you will lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine, then. Show me your best. Come at me, bro. Okay, like, I've heard this, like, these kinds of like, I've heard this music before, you know? But like I said earlier, I've never played Fire Red, so in this sound font, it's really new to me. Oh no, um... This was not supposed to happen, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Let's intimidate this gal real fast. Did it seriously self-destruct turn one? Are you kidding me? Really? This thing literally just, like, bro, turn one? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm just gonna sacrifice Bullet. Bullet's not gonna do too much in this gym. So yeah, I'm, I need to switch out. Okay, Bulldoze, I'm not really fond of that. Let me see, if I can just get, like, one hit off. I know Onyx probably has Sturdy. I'm gonna try to get one hit off. Uh-oh, never mind, I'm dead. Why is he fast? Are you kidding me? Luckily, Onyx is not strong at all, but still, what the heck, man? Sturdy, who would have guessed? Okay. Okay, hold up. Hold the phone. This is a freaking rock gem. What are you doing with Volpix? Bro, that's actually BS. Oh my god, is that Hidden Power Electric? It's Hidden Power Electric, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding? That's why you got one shot at Get out of here, Vulpix. You cheating son of a gun. <laughs> Alright, who's your final Pokemon? Archon? I don't like, I don't, oh no. <laughs> I don't like the looks of this. I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> It's alright, we should be able to clutch this out though. And not even clutch it out, like... Arch is not too, too bad. We're just gonna use Intimidate. Intimidate is such a good ability. Like, it's honestly one of the best abilities in the game. Some people say it is the best ability in the game. And I can't even really knock them for that. Okay, it has... Ooh, it has Bulldoze. 
Okay, we're just living. Hold on. Wow, one shot at it. Let's go, Midnight. Let's go. All right, we beat Brock for his try. Not bad. All right, and with that, we're going to end things off for today's episode. Leave a like if you enjoy it yourself. Subscribe and all that good stuff. And I guess I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.